how Americans raise 5.2 million of sheep on farms. Hello everyone. Today we're heading to sheep farms in the United States to see how millions of sheep are raised. Sheep production in the United States is an essential part of the nation's agriculture, with several states making significant contributions to the total output. Leading sheep producing states include Texas, Wyoming, Utah, California, and South Dakota. These states benefit from combination of favorable climate conditions, available land, and strong agriculture infrastructure that supports large-scale sheep farming for meat and wool. Sheep are primarily raised for meat and wool production, with some areas also focusing on milk production, driving much of the industry's growth. In terms of global sheep production, the United States doesn't rank among the largest producers or countries like China, Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom lead in sheep production. These countries boast significant higher production due to the respective importance of sheep in their agriculture sectors and favorable environment conditions for sheep farming. As of 2021, there were 100,000 sheep farms in the United States, with over 5 million sheep. Each sheep, about 1.7 million sheep, are born in the United States, with Texas and California accounting for up to 37% of these births. The first step involves monitoring each evening in the fall, typically from early September. This period aligns with the biological cycle of sheep. Most ewes will enter estrus from September 1st to December 31st, making fall an ideal time for mating. Rams and ewes will be together for about 51 days, which is the actual breeding period. Sheep are considered sexual mature when they reach six to eight months old weighing between 66 to 83 pounds. After the mating period, pregnant ewes carry their pregnancy for 148 to 150 days, roughly five months. This means breeding season typically starts at the end of February and can extend until late April. During the gestation period of the ewes, Conducting ultrasounds is crucial to identify non-pregnant ewes and estimate the number of expected lambs for the season. Through ultrasounds, we can observe the development of lambs, their heartbeats, enabling us to count the number of lambs and ensure the pregnant flock receives proper care and nutrition for a successful lambing season. Gathering the sheep in a pasture makes rotational grazing more manageable for our livestock team, allowing frequent health checks on the pregnant ewes throughout the five-month gestation period. There are several ways to ensure all expecting mothers maintain optimal health. Firstly, it's crucial to provide sufficient forage through the rotational grazing for all ewes. Our 100% pasture-based sheep operation means ewes do not give birth in barns or stalls. We select the best pasture for lambing to provide them 24-7 access to fresh forage. On an average, a ewe will give birth to two to three lambs, each weighing between eight to 12 pounds, and they stay with their mother for approximately nine weeks before being separated. Any lambs facing health issues are separated and closely monitored by the shepherd. Apart from monitoring the availability of green forage and health conditions, sheep also require vaccinations against enteroxemia and clostridial diseases. The only way young lambs can acquire antibodies from these vaccines is through consuming sufficient colostrum shortly after birth.
Here the farmers are docking the tails of the sheep and practice commonly done when they're about two weeks old. This helps prevent flies and parasites from attacking the sheep's hind region. Additionally, it aids in more efficient mating process in the future. This is a flock of sheep in Texas being led to grazing pastures. Currently, Texas leads as the state with the largest sheep population in the U.S., with approximately 740,000 sheep, accounting for 14% of the nation's sheep population. Similar to cattle herds in Texas, sheep are here are frequently rotated from one pasture to another for grazing. The practice of herding thousands of sheep on pastures in Texas also involves the assistance of sheepdogs, aiding the shepherds in protecting the flock from potential attacks by wild predators like wolves. This is a sheep farm in California with over 700 sheep, birthing approximately 1,500 lambs each year. These lambs will stay here for two months before moving and to other agriculture lands. Currently, in California, there are around 9,300 sheep farms with approximately 550,000 sheep, constituting 10% of the nation's sheep population. This is a sheep farm in Colorado, and this breed is called Suffolk. All the sheep on this farm are raised for meat purposes. Each year, this farm produces approximately 1,300 lambs. According to the 2020 statistics, Colorado has around 6,100 sheep farms with an estimated total of 365,000 sheep, making up to 7% of the nation's sheep population. The primary food for the sheep on this farm is dry grass. On average, sheep consumes about 3% of its body weight daily. This is the final journey for the sheep in the eight to 10 month range, where thousands of them are transported to sheep processing plants. At these plants, the sheep are stunned with an electric current before the slaughtering process begins. Annually in the United States, around 2.32 million sheep are slaughtered, producing an average of approximately 137 million pounds of lamb meat per year. In addition to domestic production, the U.S. also imports a significant amount of lamb meat from Australia and New Zealand. Now let's take a look at the lamb meat production process at a plant in the United States. Have you ever tried lamb meat? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.